Ty Women. I'm the executive chef at Serenity Restaurant in Medina. Um, when I was an early teen, I actually got introduced uh, to the American Rib uh, Cook-Off, Rib Cook-Off. I went all across the country at the age of like 12, 13 years old. Serenity Restaurant opened up a little bit over three years ago. Um, our mission is for recovering alcoholics and addicts. It's eight and a half month uh, program for our students. And after they graduate, we help them get them jobs in the community. We have a recovery center upstairs. Uh, we have GED classes, parenting classes, financial classes, 12 step meetings, uh, refuge recovery, and all types of sorts of resources, uh, caseworkers. Uh, so there's a lot of hard work. Uh, that goes into, you know, helping people. And it's open to the community too. It's not just for the students and staff here, it's for the community of Medina County. So uh, just helping people change their lives. I'm personally in recovery. I'm coming on six years of total abstinence in August um, and it's changed my life. And so I found my purpose in life, uh, cooking and helping others. And I get paid to do it, so it's really great. I had come up with this huge to-go menu. Uh, we tried doing fine dining when COVID first happened. It just don't work. People don't want fine dining in a box to go. So I came up with 27 items, more affordable, more approachable. Um, and at first it was a little slow, but then it really took off. Uh, the menu is changing in a month. We have some exciting events coming, this, coming up this spring and summer. In May, I'm doing A5 Wagyu from Japan. In June, we're doing a wine tasting, rosé paired with Italian food. In July, we're doing a cheese tasting. August, bourbons and cigar and barbecue. And then September, a vegan and vegetarian event. And then I believe in October, I'm doing wild game the whole month. So it's exciting, creating different stuff, showing the students and staff, you know, uh, different, different things, learning, you know, uh, and teaching, you know, and I'm always setting the bar higher. Um, I do five different du jours here a week, pasta, flatbread, mussel, fish, and soup du jour. Um, so just always keeping it interesting. Folks are always like, oh, what's he doing this week? But I always keep the classical French uh, dishes on here. That will never change from here. That's what I was taught by a, a true Frenchman. Uh, and that's how I do it. It's exciting to, uh, you know, to get out here, show the students that there's much more to life uh, if you get in this industry and there's so much to learn. It never gets boring to me. That's why I love this industry. I get Chilean sea bass. Uh, this is one of my dishes I created. I encrust it with pistachios and clarified butter in the RoboCoop. It creates a paste. I put it on the top of the bass. Then I take a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of white wine. Then I put it in the oven. First, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in this asparagus. I'm gonna start off with some water in there. So I'll add a little bit of salt in the water, so a little bit of pepper. Now I'm gonna put in the asparagus. So now that the, the water's hot, I'm gonna add in a couple, couple uh, pads of butter here. Once again, I'm gonna rotate the, the saute pan like this. It's a technique to, you know, it's, it's emulsifying the butter in the water. So what I do is I lean the pan, I go like this, asparagus is hot. It's already blanched for four minutes, so I'm just finishing it. This is rice pilaf, uh, which is I use dry vegetable stock, added some water when I, when I cook the rice. So I put my rice in here. Now, of course I got it on high. Okay. Now that now once I get it in there, I'm just going to add a little touch of water into there. Not a lot. I don't want the rice to be mushy. The rice is already cooked, so we're just re reheating it up to order. And so you can see the steam coming up. So the rice is done. All right. Now for the last component for the Chilean sea bass and crusty with pistachio. Uh, I love to do Bur Blancs and Bur Rouges. It's classical French. Now, I started off with high heat, okay, just to get it warm a little bit. Now, I'm gonna turn it on very low. Bur Blancs, Bur Rouges, and Bernays and Hollandaise are the hardest sauces 
because they break easy. So what I'm gonna do right here, now I'm gonna cut my heat off. Now the pan's hot, panelization, I don't need to heat it up anymore. It's hot, it's not broken, it's staying together. So I'm gonna keep spinning it too. I just don't wanna let it sit. You wanna you know, distribute the heat in the pan. I put this uh, mold in the middle here. Put the rice peel off in the middle. Okay, take the mold off. It's got a nice round to it right there. So I take the asparagus. Now I add the key lime, key lime beurre blanc. On the plate, which is a really nice plate right here that I actually got through Dean Supply. Uh, it holds the sauce in, it's perfect. I really like that. Once again, here's the Chilean sea bass encrusted with pistachios. I put it right in the center of the rice peel off mold. I'm gonna wipe my plate right here. And then the finishing touch, a lime wedge on top right here. So that's how I do the Chilean sea bass encrusted with pistachios, key lime beurre blanc. Uh, and it's an excellent dish. The fish pairs well with the beurre blanc, the rice peel off, the asparagus, and the pistachio crush just gives it over the top. Um, and so folks love it, so I keep running and doing it as a special.